hey guys welcome back to another video so i've been waiting for this package and it's finally here and i decided i'm going to do an unboxing to show you guys what i picked up in the boxing day sale now the money that i used to pay for this was money that was given to me as a gift and i wanted to buy something that i could have forever with that money but anyway it came in this bubble packaging so i'm going to open it up So I'm going to take everything that's in it, let's turn it over, out, make sure it's nice and empty, and I'm going to put that there. Okay, so that's it, it's nice and empty. A little peek, there we go. If it's not yet obvious, I did make a purchase from Filofax, okay, so we're going to go through the bits that we got. So I picked up the Filofax original keyring, it's really cute, it's like a little planner. Guys, this is going to be so cringeworthy. I've gone through this footage about four times, okay? And something said to me, wait, why do you keep saying continental? So I took out the wrapper, legit took it all, to look at it. And it's not continental. I think I saw the C, I saw a T, and I just assumed the word was continental. This is why you must read properly, okay? It's centennial. Centennial. The collection is centennial. Please do not cancel me. Please do not cancel me. I'm not going to go back through all of the footage and remove the audio because it's just going to be janker. But the word is centennial. Okay. I'm really, really sorry. I don't know why I kept saying continental. But every time you hear continental, just remember it's centennial. Okay. I just need to put this in. All right. All right. Laugh along with me. Laugh along with me. And it's from the Continental Collection. And it says, Celebrate Filofax's 100-year anniversary with this stylish limited edition keyring featuring the original iconic design in a miniature with useful sticky notes. So it's 45 millimeters by 49 millimeters by 25 millimeters. And it's really cute. I got it in this color. So I'm going to open it up. So this is what she looks like, very nice and cute and you could open it up and it's got like little miniature sticky notes which I think is absolutely adorable. So that's one of the items that I picked up. This wasn't in the sale, this was full price, at around £9 but this is what it looks like and I got it with the gold. And it's in the color blush with the gold chain. I got these little um, accessories. So I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to use these in a bit. So we're going to put these to one side. And I'm going to put this here. So I also got the Filofax 100 years tote bag. I got this when I made my order. It's from the Continental Collection, as you can see. And I got it for free. And I was like, oh, I was like, this is so cute. I was like, it's so cute. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And I love black as well, guys. So it's black and gold. And the straps are a decent length. This is perfect for my little planner gals and guys, okay? So it's got it there. Filofax 100 years. Printed on both sides. The straps, like I said, it's quite long. And it's really cute, okay? It's really, really, really cute. I like it. So the start of the show is here and we're gonna open it up together. I've not seen this in person. I've watched a few videos to get an idea as to what it's gonna look like. And I feel like I'm very much happy with the size that it's gonna be. So this is her. I'm gonna take her out of the box. All right, so this is the baby. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm gonna remove the tape. It's the Filofax Finsbury Mini Organizer. I was actually debating between the pocket size and the mini, but I decided to go for the mini because I'm trying to be more minimal with things. <sighs> Imagine mini and minimal. 
and I didn't want to carry around this big wallet anymore. I love my Filofax Pennybridge compact organizer. I love her to bits. I've had her for a few years and you can see she's still in very good condition. These are investment pieces, guys. She's still in very, very good condition. I love her. I love her. She does hold a lot. I want you guys to see where I'm coming from. Got a pocket there, pocket at the back. Space there, you've got a little bit at the front there. So this is quite big, okay, compared to this. All right, it's quite big. Let's put her on top. It is quite big, all right? But I decided I'm gonna be downsizing and this is in the color slate gray. Okay, so you can see why I chose this to go with this. Perfect. All right, let's get her out. I'm gonna take off the little bits here oh she's so cute she's even cuter in person i've seen videos here online and i'm like oh she is so cute it's a leather dated planner it's got the 2022 information in it i'm just gonna take this off like that because i don't want to pull it and scuff it up so it's got the little ring guards there we're going to just remove those and it's got this bit which is my 2022 planner but i'm not gonna actually be using this to be honest she's even more smaller than i thought guys i'm not gonna lie i did not expect it to be this small i'm not gonna lie to you um let me try and get her out okay what am i doing here i'm making a whole mess <laughs> but i like creating these videos so you guys can see my excitement let me take this off and then i'll sort it out at the end i'm not going to be using these because I never really do, to be honest. All right, guys, we're back. So everything is out. I'm not gonna show you guys the inserts because I'm not gonna use them. So this is what she looks like. Okay, let's close her up. She's got five rings. I sort of wish these were gold instead of silver, but it's okay. She's got three pockets on the left side and a little space here to put whatever you wanna put in there. And then you've got a zipper pocket here. Let's do the finger test. Almost half of my index finger yeah say so that and then you've got your little pen bit here now this is a leather organizer so it's going to need a little bit of breaking in she's really small i think the ones i was looking at were probably the pocket size because this is tiny okay and she's got a little back pouch here or back wallet whatever you want to call this where you could store receipts or you know notes or anything of that nature i do intend to set her up okay she's going to be my everyday carry now compared to my penny bridge i'm going to miss my penny bridge but this is going to be my everyday carry okay the color i'm not going to lie is amazing it's a nice color the leather it's very soft and i love that it's textured as well i love having a bit of texture so i picked up the side opening envelope from filofax the reason why i picked this up is because i want to have some sort of size guard i don't know if that's the correct word let's try and get around i've cut my nails today so my hands are not fully functional so it comes with a little side envelope <laughs> she is tiny i keep saying she is tiny but she is tiny okay this is ridiculous guys it's wow so tiny so i picked this up and i wanted it because i wanted to sort of gauge how big or how small i could make my own envelopes and i feel like this is just about right because it's not overlapping when i bought this i thought that it would have been open on this side to be honest okay i'm not gonna lie i didn't know it was gonna be opened on the actual ring side which to me is not very much functional i guess it's like this so if you put a picture in it it doesn't fall out or whatever you put in it doesn't fall out but the envelopes i'm going to put they're going to be opened on this side opposed to here i also picked up the black ruler page marker they didn't have a clear one so i just went for what they had and it's just this little small ruler Oops. 
that you could just pop in like that okay like i said i wanted the clear one whenever they do get a clear one i'll keep my eyes out i will change this out for a clear one because i prefer the clear one this is the clear one from my penny bridge to me it's more aesthetically pleasing but then when you look at it the black and the slate grey, it doesn't look too, too bad. I thought the rings would have been a bit bigger. The ring mechanism is 15 millimeters, all right? It's got a strap closure, just for people who are interested. I'm not a planner girl, I'm using this basically as a wallet, but it's got a strap closure, which is this one, all right? That's what it looks like, closed. It's got one zip pocket, which I showed you guys earlier, and the leather pen loop. And I did show you guys that it's got three card pockets on the left side. The depth of this planner is 33 millimeters. The width is 103 millimeters, and the height is 123 millimeters. And this is information off the Filofax website. I'm pretty much convinced the ones I was looking at were the pocket size because I initially wanted to go for the pocket size ones but I was like you know that might be a bit too big and bulky for what I want. I'm gonna be creating about maybe two, two or three cash envelopes for this all right not a lot and I'm going to be putting in some cards in here to show you guys what it looks like. Okay guys, so we're back. And what I decided to do, I decided to put in my priority cards because I do have a wallet filled with a lot of cards, bank cards, you know, um, store cards, as in, you know, cards that you get your rewards from and so on and so forth. And I was just like, you know what, Grassy, you need to condense everything. Now these two cards right here, this is my main bank account card, okay? This is the main one so i would like to keep this on hand when i go to places like costco that doesn't take the hyper jar but what i'm going to try to do when i'm going to costco i'll be going there tomorrow to get my eye test done and i'm going to transfer a hundred and we're going to put 150 pounds in the main account and see if costco will take it at the petrol station if not then i'm definitely definitely going to need to keep walking with my debit card or a credit card or something that I could use and because I've got the money set aside for the petrol I will just have to pay it back off that way in the clear one here you could put documents in it photos accessories whatever it is that you want and I guess the opening is on this side to prevent things from falling out like I stated earlier. So what I did, I put my Costco card in. I'm not going to flip it over because obviously my details are on the back. So I put my Costco card in. And I'm pretty sure that I'm probably going to order a couple more of these. Because if I'm to make my own, it might be a bit too chunky. But I'm going to try making my own first. Okay? And see how we get on with that. And keep it moving. All right, so that's that. Now, this bit, I've got my cards like this to sort of demonstrate to you guys that it is not that deep to put the cards in in this way, okay? You know, like if you want to take a couple extra cards with you, this is my Sodesco card. It's a brilliant Visa prepaid card that I use in stores and I get a generous amount in cash back. So I want to keep this because I want to keep it topped up, especially during the Christmas period where I'm going to be shopping at M&S, Sainsbury's and stores like that where I do get cash back. I do want to reap the benefits of that. So it doesn't fit that way because as you can see, it won't close and it's sitting on top of the ring. So I want to give you guys a real life demo. So what I'm going to do, I am going to turn them this way. Okay. It looks a bit bulky, which I don't like the bulky look, but it's okay. Beggars can't be choosers, right? <laughs> I'm not begging anyone, by the way. But I'm just saying, can't be too forced. I didn't realise it would have been this bloody small, honestly. I keep saying this. I think the other ones that I watched were pocket size ones. Like I said, I did want a pocket size one, but I said, you know what? Go for something a bit smaller. See how you get on. If I feel like I'm not getting on with this too, too well, I could always resell it and buy the pocket. If that's the case but I'm gonna make this into you know my own now I took my pen out I've got my license here 
my two hyper jar cards so the blue one's my son's the black one's mine I've put my pen here that I had in my penny bridge but what I'm gonna do with the pen because you, you can see the pen has got a strap and I usually hook it in the ring band is there but I'm not gonna do that so the beauty about this pen it's got this little thing that you could just snap it out like so and remove it which is amazing okay and it's also if I'm not mistaken a refillable pen so it's also great for the environment okay I think it's refillable not sure anywho I'm gonna put this back into the leather hoop it fits quite snug I see a lot of people using bigger pens but I think they, they've got that in their um pocket size ones I just want a pen that fits right and this fits brilliantly so I'm happy about that now my little gorgeous key ring <laughs> I think she's going to be too big for this planner oh my goodness I think she's going to be too big because I bought her as an accessory for my planner but I think she's going to be too massive but let's see why did I do this when I could have just opened up the bloody binder? So, let's see. Okay. She cute. She cute. Don't you think she's cute? I think she's absolutely cute with this, okay? I think it's cute. You might think it's over the top, but I think it's absolutely stunning. The fact that I could slot the two cards that I know I'll be using down between here, okay, that's cool for me. Another thing I wanted to do, I had a few coins in my wallet. So I had one pound, 11 pence, okay? You guys know how I feel about coins. And I wanted to pop them into the little coin pouch, just so I've got some coins on me in case needed, okay? Now I've sort of spread them out in a way that they're not bulking up or anything. I do need to get some ring guards. I think that's something I'm going to look into. But it doesn't imprint onto the actual bit here. But it's a stunning colour. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I love it. Okay. I do love it. I'm not just saying that. But I do love it. I'm not quite sure if this is going to be everyone's cup of tea. Because like I said, she's quite small. It might not be everyone's cup of tea. People might want something a bit bigger. But I feel like... Ooh. Okay. I don't know if this is going to work. I might have to change out... I'm going to change out my ring. I'm going to put the ring that came on this. Let's do that quickly. So I've taken the original ring from the Filofax key ring off okay I've taken it off I'm not gonna get rid of it I'll keep it and I'm gonna put the key ring that came on the pen the one that I removed because it's smaller I feel like because this is bigger and I don't know I think I assumed the planner would have been a bit bigger like I said so it's not really working so I'm gonna pop it onto here and to be honest the colors are not that much off if you have a look you can't tell that it doesn't come on it. So this is a good thing, all right? And I wanna show you guys, it's all about improvising. So I'm gonna probably put her down a bit more so that she's dangling. Okay, we want her a bit longer, don't we? So let's put her there, okay? And it's much better now, much, much better. I feel like the other one, it was so big. I don't know if it's because I didn't have it fixed or what, but I feel like it was so big that it was preventing it from closing. So I've removed this. I'll see how I get on. And this is it. This is my new wallet. My new everyday carry. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm, listen, I'm so, so excited for it. Um, great investment. And yeah. So I've got my other wallet here with all of my cards. I'm going to put all of these cards onto apps. I've already got the Tesco card onto an app. I think I just need to get the Morrison's one onto an app and my Boots card and some of the other cards. I need to get the apps for them. Holland and Barrett and stuff. I don't know if they do apps, but I hope they do. I need to get apps for those cards so I'm not walking around with the big old wallet. 
and I think I've emptied everything out of it so far. My IKEA family card is in here. Um, that's my old work card. Um, I don't think I necessarily need my IKEA family card, even if I'm going to IKEA, as long as I've got my information, I would be able to pull it up. And another thing that I want to do in this wallet, because this is going to be an everyday carry, I've got a next gift card here for my son, okay? <laughs> this is from his fourth birthday, this was two years ago. <laughs> Auntie Sonia, I've still not used it. Um, I've held it because I wanted to get him something, you know, in particular. So, um, <laughs> it's a £20 gift card. So, I'm going to stick this into the back, the wallet bit. Let's do it together. Stick her into there. Like so. Okay. Close her up. And we are ready to go. So guys, this is it. This is my Finsbury mini organizer in slate gray. She's got some white stitching. And I'm not sure what's happening here. Look at that. Oh no. What's happened there? Okay, is this is this a defect? Is it supposed to be like that? I don't want to rip it. Do I need to message them? Probably. I just noticed it. Oh. Um, yeah. I'll probably have to contact customer service about that. Damn it. Um, I don't think they would... Yeah, it should have been stitched around because this part is stitched all the way around. And this part isn't. That's not good at all. Even on my penny bridge, it's stitched all the way around. Look, it's a good thing I picked that up. Oh no, I need to contact them, but I've already set my little organizer up, so I'm not gonna be like, <laughs> baby, I've been waiting for this for like seven days. So this is her, despite the little, defect here with the thread i need to message them definitely um I need to message them but anyway this is originally 50 pounds i bought it from the uk file of facts because i know some people are going to ask it was 50 pounds but i bought it in the sale so i got i think it was 20 percent off or something like that and then i've got these accessories these weren't in the sale but i did get a few accessories that i showed you guys this and the wallet and the ruler i think that's all i got so yeah thanks so much for watching and i'll talk to you guys soon i hope you enjoyed it give it a big thumbs up i know it's a bit chatty but you know i like to talk in my videos to let you guys see what's going on i know a lot of people like silence but i like to talk okay so yeah talk to you guys soon bye wanna shake the ground wanna break away